Hi everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make broccoli to shimeji no garibata shoyu. Garibata shoyu is garlic, butter, and soy sauce. So it's broccoli and shimeji mushrooms sauteed with V3. It's such a simple and easy dish, but the combination of garlic, butter, and soy sauce makes the dish so flavorful. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with the dish, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. Broccoli, shimeji mushrooms, some garlic, one or two cloves, one and a half a tablespoon each of butter, soy sauce, and mirin, and some salt and pepper to taste. As always, let's do all the cutting first, so shimeji mushrooms. Cut the bottom off, and just break it into pieces. broccoli into bite-sized pieces. Cut the bottom off because it's dried and shave the skin off rather thick. and diagonal slices. And garlic. Let's mince it. Let's put the garlic and about a tablespoon of vegetable oil in the frying pan. And just heat it up until you start to smell nice aroma of the garlic. The heat is medium. When you start to smell garlic, add broccoli and 50 milliliter of water. Cover with the lid and steam cook it for about 3 minutes. Cook 
cooked for three minutes and there is no water left at the bottom of the frying pan. Add shimeji mushroom and keep cooking for another one to two minutes. Let's add all the seasonings. Mirim, soy sauce, butter, and some salt and pepper to taste. When the butter is melted, chill the heat and it's done. Let's serve on the plate. Some black pepper if you like. And broccoli to shimeji no gari bata shoyu is ready to go. Time for the tasting. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's just sauteed broccoli and shimeji mushrooms. But the combination of garlic butter and soy sauce is really a game changer and it makes the whole dish so flavorful. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Broccoli to shimeji no garibata shoyu is a side, so it goes here and some sort of pickles, either store-bought or homemade for the other side. Whatever you like for the other dishes. But how about katsudon here, which will also cover the main, and lettuce miso soup or any soup you like here. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!